This time of year tends to be very stressful. The relaxation of winter break has worn off, spring break is still a really far way away, and somehow all of your deadlines are ending up on the same day. My favorite way to cope with my stress is online shopping. Notice I said favorite way, not the healthiest way. In today's video, I'm gonna share with you all some of my most favorite recent purchases for my classroom. Most of the products, and by most of the products, I mean literally all but one, are going to be from my favorite online retailer, which is Amazon. All of them will be linked down in the description box, and it would really help me out if you do want to purchase any of the items to do it through the links I have provided because they are affiliate links, and I receive a very small, like really, really small portion of the money at no extra cost to you, and it helps me to be able to create videos like this for my channel. Also, if you are enjoying this video, go ahead and give it a thumbs up. I was thinking of creating these more frequently on my channel, as in like seasonal maybe, like once every three months, so give me some feedback. Let me know what you think. I'm gonna jump right into it. The first few items that I have are all... It has taken me a while to jump onto the fidget toy train. I was not a fan, but I am now. The reason I'm now a fan is because our counselor at our school actually provided all of the teachers with little calm down kits. It's a basket of small fidgets that she had purchased on Amazon for us. And once I started using them with my students, I did start seeing the benefits. I was worried about them becoming toys rather than tools for my kids, and I won't lie, that does happen sometimes, but it's all about setting up the expectations up front with your students and letting them know why these are available to them and when they should be appropriately using them, and then if they're not, you take them away. Now, the fidgets that my counselor provided were amazing, but I wanted to expand and, you know, find some new things to add to the little calm down kit, so I'm gonna show you a few things that I grabbed on Amazon. The first item was actually inspired by my students. This is called an infinity cube. I was seeing my students bring this into class, didn't really know what it was, wasn't sure like if it was related to a Rubik's cube or what, and finally I said, hey, give me that. And I started playing with it and I fell in love with it. Basically, you're able to just move around the pieces and there is something about it that is very calming. And if I enjoy it, I know that my students will enjoy it. So this was about $9. I got just a very basic black one, but you can find these in different colors and you know, all that fun stuff. The next item are these snap and click snake puzzles. I think it's the full name, but essentially they are these little plastic thingy majiggies and you're able to kind of click them and maneuver them around. You can also take them apart so it's one long strip. Now I will warn you, these make, you know, a little bit of clicking noises as you're doing it. So this may not be best for like tests and things where you need it quiet, but there is something really nice about these, just being able to like fidget and maneuver with them. And it's very tactile and they're a good purchase. So these were four of them for about $9. So also a good price. The next thing that I got are these liquid bubble timers, I think is the official name. These were a little bit pricier. These were a three pack for about $18, but they are totally worth it. They essentially just drip colored liquid, but there's something very satisfying about it when you watch it. And what I love about these is that they are completely silent. So these are fantastic for tests. You can give one to a student. It can sit on the corner of their desk. It's not distracting, but it's very calming just to watch it. So if you have students who experience anxiety with testing, these will definitely help. And actually, I cannot guarantee that they will definitely help, but they could help. <laughs> the last fidget item that I have is called a flippy chain. Now these were actually purchased by my counselor, but I love them so much that I wanted to share them with you. So these have two circles and then they are connected by like a chain and you're able just to flip them around. Now these are great for having just discreetly for a student because they can just hold it in their hand or even have it in their desk and no one else would know. They also are very quiet, which is awesome. You can can get these on Amazon in a three pack for about $10. They do come in different colors, but I enjoy these. Like sometimes if I'm really stressed out, I will go over and grab one and just kind of fidget with it. So these are definitely something to look into. Moving on from fidgets, my next item is a must have if you have outdoor recess. This is my megaphone or bullhorn. I don't really know the difference. I don't know if there is a difference. This little sucker was $12 on Amazon. And let me just say, some of the best $12 I have ever spent on Amazon. It was inspired by my students one day when we were outside at recess and we were trying to yell across at them and they could not hear us or they pretended they could not hear us. And I said, you know what? There's a solution for that. 
I'm gonna go on Amazon and I'm gonna get me a megaphone. And here it is. The area that we play out at at Resos is very large. We have a field and then we have like another little field and then we have a playground and then we have a basketball court and then we have like concrete and it's a big area, you know? And even with four of us teachers, sometimes you just, you cannot get to all your students and that's where this comes in. So with this, there is a speak function where I can speak into it. I can adjust the volume softer or louder. And there is also a siren. We don't really use the siren, but I just like knowing that it's there. I will say the one negative-ish, I guess, with this is that you do have to purchase batteries separately. They don't come with it, but I purchased a set of four C batteries and I did the Amazon brand and I wanna say it was like $6 for the batteries. I don't know yet how long they will last because they're still working, but I will keep you all updated. Last little part of it that I do love is there is a strap so I can just, you know, put around my wrist, carry it. I like having it, I feel powerful. The next item that I have is the one item not available on Amazon, but it's worth it, trust me. This is called an auto stool, and I have to back up to show you the full thing. Auto stools are, you know, they're stools, but they're also like an ottoman, so you can store stuff on the inside. The top comes off, and you can store stuff on the inside. They are perfect for holding wiggle cushions. If you have wiggle cushions, they fit perfectly on the inside. You can stack them up in there. You can fit, I don't know, like five, six, depending on how thick they are. These are plastic, and when I first got them in, I was hesitant. I'm like, eh, I don't know if that's gonna hold me, but I can attest, I sit on this every single day in my small group, and it holds me. It's super easy to assemble. It comes in kind of a flat-shaped box, and you just wrap the plastic around, connect the pieces, pop on the top, pop on the bottom, and you are ready to go. They are also super light. I can carry this around my classroom very easily, so can my students. They're only $30, which for the quality of it and the fact that you also get storage and a seat, and it's lightweight, and it's easy to assemble, totally worth it. They also come in a variety of colors, you know, so go onto the website. It'll be linked down below. You can look. They have different colors, different styles. You can pick whatever color floats your boat and then thank me later. You know, as I scoot up here, one last thing that I wanted to talk to you all about with auto stools, they actually have a give back program. Every 10 auto stools that they sell on their website, they do give one stool to a teacher that needs it. They try to focus on schools that have Title I status, but if you are a teacher that works at a school that may qualify you can go on and you can apply to receive a free stool I think you actually get two stools if you get picked out which is awesome and even if not if you go on and purchase stools you are helping to give back to other teachers my next item is something I have shared about before and it's kind of you know a teacher basic but it's worth sharing about again because I feel like it has not gotten the amount of love it truly deserves this is an Expo XL eraser and let me just say it is life-changing this little sucker can erase your whole board in a matter of seconds I used to use one of those little dinky erasers and it was just not cutting it you know I was getting a workout as I was erasing and as great as that was I wanted something a little bit better so this one is nice and large you can cover a nice large area with it also the pad on the bottom has layers so once one gets super dirty you can actually rip it off you got a clean layer underneath once you run out of all your layers you can Buy a refill pack. I will say though, I usually leave a layer on for like a whole school year and it's perfectly fine. I have since bought multiple of these. I used to only have one, but I would always carry it around my room because it was the only eraser I wanted to use. And I got tired of that, so I now have one for each of my whiteboards. I forgot the price. It is about $12, or at least it was $12 when I bought it. I'm always hesitant to give prices with Amazon because you know they change all the time. But when I bought it, it was $12, and I can't remember how much the refills are, but I will link them down below. The next item is the item I am most excited about. This is called a cue ball, as in the letter Q and then the word ball. Not to be confused with, you know, the off-white ball that you use when playing pool or billiards, but this has changed my life. And I know I just said that this changed my life, which also changed my life, but this has improved my teaching like tenfold. So, story time. I first saw this on Facebook. Okay, so cue ball, you're doing a great job with your marketing because apparently it was targeted at me and I saw it and I was like, I need this in my life. Now this was also featured on Shark Tank. It is a throwable ball with a microphone inside. Okay, let that sink in for a second. 
When I saw this, I literally just, my mind was filled with all of the possibilities and ways that I could use it. Let me quickly show you like how all it works. So first of all, the ball is soft and that's one of the things I couldn't tell from the video. I didn't know if it was gonna be like a hard firm ball, but it's not. It's soft, it's similar to a ball that students would use like in gym class or PE. But there's a microphone on the inside. So this black ball right here, um, not it's not a ball, the circle, the black circle, actually screws off. So you can kind of put your hands on the inside, twist it, and it pops out. And on the inside is where your microphone is. So this lifts up. And then this piece, which has the actual microphone in it, pops out. This is rechargeable, so at the end of each day, I just plug it in, USB, and charge it right on my computer. But you can also charge it on your wall. All you have to do in order to set this up in your classroom is plug a receiver into some kind of a speaker system. Now, I have speakers in my ceiling, so it's actually connected to those. But if you don't, you could connect them to computer speakers, a wireless speaker you have set up in your room. There are tons of possibilities, but setting it up literally took me minutes so once it is set up to your speakers you charge this little piece I don't know the technical name for this um, I guess it's just called the microphone I don't know but you pop it on the inside make sure that the blue piece is facing up you pop the black piece back in and you are ready to go now what's great about this is it can actually detect when it's being thrown and then when it's being held still so when it's being thrown it like temporarily turns off the microphone so you don't get a bunch of static or feedback and then once a student catches it they kind of hold it for a second they talk into the black piece and it will project their voice through the speakers now again mine are through the ceiling so my students actually hear their voice coming out of the ceiling which is super cool for them the reason I love this so much is not only are you throwing the ball and your students are engaged with trying to catch it, but then it also amplifies their voice. And personally, having class sizes of over 30 students, if there's any kind of background noise going on, students getting things out of their desk, students sharpening a pencil, it's really difficult for them to hear their classmates talking. So with this, it amplifies their voice and then the rest of the class is paying attention to them because they can actually hear them. Now, this is available on Amazon, but it's also available on their website. On Amazon, it's about $200, but I will link both options for you. I know for a regular classroom teacher, that can be kind of pricey, okay? I feel you. I will say it's totally worth it because like I said, it has changed the way that I now teach. But if you are not able to afford it, you can actually do a donor's choose project for one. Set up a donor's choose project. I swear with it being $200, you would have it funded like that because there are anonymous donors that go on all the time and fund projects. And I am a firm believer in donor's choose and always having a project available. So if you are interested in one of these and you can't afford it yourself, I highly recommend doing a donor's choose project. You could also ask for Amazon gift cards for Christmas, birthday, end of the year, whatever. If you put it out to your parents I'm sure there will be parents also willing to help you out again I always have you all in mind so I did reach out to the creator of cue ball and he is willing to give one away to you all for free and I'm so excited because you all are gonna love it if you are interested in entering the giveaway go ahead and look in the description box just like before all of the rules and steps will be there for you the next item that I have is very simple but it's revolutionary, okay? These are transparent spinners. I play a lot of math games in my class and they oftentimes involve spinners of some kind and I was getting tired of giving my students paper clips, you know, for them to use with their pencil as a little spinner and then the paper clips were getting bent or not returned to me. My students watch my videos, okay? I see you keeping my paper clips. But then I found these. It made me so much happier. So these were in a five pack on Amazon for about $7.50, very affordable. How these work is you put them over top of the spinner on the paper okay and it's transparent so they can see through it and then they just you know they flick the little spinner and they're all set now these do come with like a blue film over top of them and you have to like peel it off on both sides I store them in one of these little sandwich containers from the Dollar Tree okay organization the next item is also something I've shared about on my channel before but I got a new one so I want to share my new one this is a wireless presenter and if you use PowerPoints or Google Slides, you need this in your life. I personally teach from Google Slides 
every single day in my classroom and no one wants to sit by their computer, you know, trying to click to go to the next slide or have a student do it or even tap in on the smart board was too much for me because I'm always all over my room. I'm standing on desks. I'm standing on chairs. I don't have time for that. But with this wireless presenter, I can change the slide from anywhere in my classroom. The reason I invested in a new one is because my other one ran on batteries and I was constantly changing the batteries and I was not happy about it. But this one is rechargeable. Just like the cue ball, I recharge it with my USB on my computer. I only charge it about once a week. The battery lasts all week long and I'm just so much happier because I'm saving money and not buying batteries. <laughs> so super simple, the way that this works is it has this little, oh, oh man, okay, let's try that again. It has this little USB piece and this plugs into your computer. The first time you use it, it has to like download a software thing. It literally takes like 10 seconds, okay? And then after that, you just leave this plugged into your computer and then on your actual wireless presenter, you have an on off switch so you can save the battery when you're not using it. And all I do is I just click the button to go to the next slide and then I can click the button if I need to go back. And the laser is also super helpful because if I'm in the back of room and I wanna point at something, I just, you know, I use the little laser pointer. Mine has Velcro on the back because I actually attach it to my document camera like right on the side so that I do not lose it. $20 on Amazon get yourself one. Okay, last item, and this one technically is not really for your classroom, this is more like a personal purchase, but if you have a MacBook, you need this. One thing that I dislike about my MacBook, as great as it is, is the charging cable for it. It's a hot mess. It's always getting tangled. It's always stretched across my floor and it's creating a hazard for me and my cats, but mostly me. And if I have to carry it with me somewhere to like Starbucks or on vacation, it just gets all jumbled up in my book bag and I was not a fan until I got this. This is called the Sidewinder. It is $30 on Amazon and it is worth every penny. I probably would have paid $50 for this. Basically, it, you know, winds up my charging cable, but it's the way that it's done that's so cool, okay? When I want to use the charging cable, I pull on each end, you know, and it comes out. And then when I'm done using it, I just twist a rooney right here and it winds it back up, okay? Keeps it nice and neat and tidy. I am such a happier person since this has come into my life. Those are all of the items that I have for you. And hopefully by the end of this video, you're thinking, wow, Michelle is really passionate about her Amazon purchases, and I am. I guarantee you none of this was like fake excitement. These are all items that I am truly so excited about and I could not wait to share them with you all. So hopefully you got at least one new item to you know maybe purchase and bring into your classroom. Again, if you enjoyed this video, please go ahead and give it a thumbs up. Also, don't forget to subscribe to my channel and hit the notification bell so that you do not miss any future videos. As always, thank you for watching. I love you all so much. Don't forget to put your positive pants on and I will catch you all in the next one. Thank you so much for watching all the way to the end of this video and for supporting my YouTube channel. If you want to check out any of my older videos, you can use the two links right down here. If you want to subscribe to my channel so you don't miss any future videos, you can use the link right up here. The links to all of my social media sites, my Teachers Pay Teacher Store, my Merchandise Store, and my Amazon Store are in the description box, and I'll catch you guys in the next one.